Today I'm going to talk to you about <clears throat> how we can uh, make a die for your hydraulic press. Uh, it's very cheap and very economical and you can do any design that you want. So stick around and I'm going to show you. My name is Eli Ganim and welcome to EG Jewel Lapidary. <music> Okay, the die that uh, if you if you if you have a, a press a hydraulic press and uh, you want to make some of these shapes uh, like this one here for instance and the final one okay let me show you something like that and different design uh, you need to buy uh, these uh, steel uh, dies and usually they have them one uh, with one shape or uh, various, uh, some of them, like uh, if you buy them from uh, uh, Rio Grande, it has about five of them in a row. Uh, same shape, different sizes. So they go from big to small. And But the cost of these is about 70 some dollars, $72 each. It made out of steel. But the way I'm going to show you how to make them very economical is <coughs> using plexiglass. Now this plexiglass is quarter inch thick and then you can cut it to any size you want. Uh, I bought for instance this one here it's about 18 inches by 24 inches and quarter inch thick. The total price is $24.50 for, for all this so you can make lots of uh, shapes and lots of dies that you could use. Um, so what I have here is I design the shape that I need and let me show you some that I didn't cut yet and I'm going to try to cut. For instance this one here it has a flower but you could see I drilled already some holes in there where I can go in with my blade and then cut the inside shape. So there's this one here, there's another one right there uh, this one here it's kind of like oval shape and with the oval shape because there's a lot of opening what I did is I took a drill and just drilled it and then I can go in and, and finish the rest of it so you could do that too um, I cut them to uh, the size I prefer and uh, then I draw whatever shape that I want or I feel like doing uh, so I have some like a uh, teardrop, something like that. Here, I have some little oval or teardrop, but it, it's a little bit of has a shape to it. Uh, I did the uh, leaves or kind of feathers or leaf. So basically, what I'm doing here is I'm making so many shapes. Here is a uh, some other ones which is hearts. You can make these hearts at different different shapes. Now when I when I shape them I cut them uh, what you need to do is uh, these die is going to be uh, used for whatever silver sheets or or uh, copper. I'm using here copper right now and you could see actually this one is already pressed in so you could see it and then after that once it's pressed on that sheet uh, you go in and you cut it. I use uh, uh, my uh, jeweler saw and just go around and, and cut that. Uh, it, but to make the die itself and to cut the shape you could use the jeweler saw or I have a, a machine, jig machines that uh, jigsaw that I use. I'll show you that later on. So the thing is that for instance if I'm making uh, something like that shape here and let's say for instance I need to do an earring out of that. So it's got to be a left and a right to it. And you still can do that on, the, on that 
shape. If, if I'll take this one here and I stamp it right from one side, I can turn it around and stamp it from the other side and now I got a left and a right. So what I do is I type or write down here right and I on the other side left so I know which one I did so I don't make uh, the same thing twice. Uh, this way I know that I made both of them. So this one here for instance it, it's a heart it's not finished yet but these are two you put them together and you solder them and you get a, a complete one that you could do whatever this is not finished yet but you could do a lot of things like that. I have these round pieces just simple round and also you could have them as like that just use them like that or you could actually put them together and you solder them and you have them like 3D so you can have them on both sides um, so there's a lot of things that you could design you could do now what what I use is I use the uh, uh, the urethane sheet I, I bought these urethane sheets from uh, Rio Grande uh, they have them about this size they get different hardness and what you do is you put your sheet in so you take your sheet you're going to put it on the plate like that it's flat this has already been pressed but if you have the sheet you put it in and the urethane on top of it and then you press it down and that's how it's going to work um, so really to make these is so simple and it's so easy to do it now one thing that you gotta watch is when you press when you press your sheet or your metal in you don't need uh, you can't have sharp corners around here so this here all the sharp edges when you cut it after you cut this you get all sharp edges around so take a small file or you take I use sandpaper also you go in with the sandpaper and you round the edges all around so if I take a simple one for instance this is this is a round one so I go in and I will uh, sand uh, the uh, radia around uh, and and make it nice and smooth you could do it on both sides so just in case you're going to use it this way or that way it doesn't matter so when you fit it in it, it will not uh, damage your uh, your uh, uh, pattern that you're going to get up so by doing that you know from you know you're paying like seventy five dollars uh, per plate with this one here it basically costs you absolutely nothing and it's easy to work some people said to me or were asking me would you think this one will break no it will not break it will not crack because if you have for instance a sharp corner like this one here you have sharp corners on the top and on the bottom and what you need to do is to make sure that the distance from here to the edge from here to the edge is you have quite a bit of distance that it will not crack so you get strong parameter around it uh, around the shape that you have and this way you eliminate any any cracks so even if it cracks it doesn't matter because well I wouldn't say that because it, it, I didn't have any one that did crack from me yet but if it happened you can always get a new a new one and and redo it again for cheap it doesn't cost much so uh, on the <clears throat> right now I'm going to show you the machines that I have I'm going to show you the press and I'm going to show you the jigsaw that I'm using and <clears throat> it's uh, it, 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 then on the next video I will show you uh, how uh, to actually uh, do it so I'm going to take on the next video I'm going to take uh, the sheet the uh, uh, copper sheet I'm going to anneal it and uh, we're going to go through the process together now the other thing is also what I do is you could also press the patterns on on the sheet I don't know if you could see the patterns here but there is patterns on the sheet so you could put the patterns in and 
and then you press it so you get these patterns on it and when you finish it it looks even nicer so there's a lot of uh, design you, you can just use your imagination on, on that design so anything that you think about that you could do uh, you could design it and 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 make it uh, so and it, it's unique because it's your own design it's your own thing and nobody has it, it, it it's yours and that makes it makes it unique so um, then like I said next time we're gonna go over the process itself let me show you the machines that I have okay so this is this is the press uh, and this press it's a hydraulic press I have a 20 ton um, jack down at the bottom and on the top I had this plate. By the way, this, this press I did build myself. Um, so the whole thing, it, it was done uh, here at home and it's very strong, it's good construction. Um, so what I do is I put my, uh, let me show you that. I will put my uh, uh, plate down here, the urethane on top of it, just put it down here and all I have to do is just jack it up against here and this will press it down. The other uh, machine that I have, I got uh, this uh, jigsaw uh, and it's very, very easy to do it, that's why I put a hole in. Um, I just take the blade out, put the blade in, and just go over the design that I have. Very simple, very quick, and very easy to do. If you don't have that, you could always use the, uh, the hand saw, the jeweler saw. So also, um, one, one other thing is you could, you could have double... Um, design so you could have for instance this one here you could have two design on it and this how it comes out so you could have uh, double uh, uh, design or double pieces that they come out uh, at the same time so when you press you just use one press one sheet and you get the two and uh, here another thing that I do is if you look at the outline, I do highlight it with the uh, with the sharpie, and that makes it easy for me when I use the jeweler saw and I go around. It makes it very simple for me to to cut it. Um, so uh, the whole thing it's it's so easy to do, and and uh, at the end it's so cheap to manufacture. You could have so many different designs, but as much as you like. Um, so I hope you like that video and if you do like it uh, please uh, uh, share it with your friend share it uh, with your group and uh, don't forget to sub subscribe if you do subscribe uh, there's a small little uh, bell on the side if you press that what's happening is gonna uh, every time I put a new video in uh, YouTube will notify you by email. So it's a great thing. And I hope you like this video. Please enjoy it and share it. And have a great day. See you next time.